Greetings, my name is Drew Bagby, and today I'd like to quickly describe the anatomy of a CC license. I am using a buy share alike license today. I'll explain what that means more later. The following are the learning objectives for today's presentation. First, I'd like to understand why we need Creative Commons licenses in the first place. Then we'll examine the CC license and the elements contained within. We'll look at the six CC licenses available to us and we'll try to understand what they mean. And then finally, we'll look at how CC licenses factor into exceptions and limitations of copyright, as well as works that might be in the public domain. So why Creative Commons licenses? Creative Commons licenses give creators of content a standardized way to grant permission to others to use their creative work. From the perspective of a person reusing content, the presence of a Creative Commons license answers the question, what can I do with this? and provides freedom to reuse subject to clearly defined conditions. Copyright operates by default under an all rights reserved approach. Creative Commons licenses function within copyright law and they utilize a some rights reserved approach. There are three layers to a CC license. First, the legal code is the base layer. This is the layer that allows CC licenses to be legally enforceable. The commons deeds are the most well-known layer of the licenses. These are the web pages that lay out the key license terms in so-called human-readable terms. And then finally, the machine-readable terms or version of the license is a summary of key freedoms granted and obligations imposed written to a format that applications, search engines, and other kinds of technology can understand. There are four elements of a CC license. First is the attribution symbol. All licenses include this condition. Next, the, sim the symbol for non-commercial or NC means the work is only available to be used for non-commercial purposes. Three of the CC licenses include this restriction. This symbol means share alike or SA. This means that adaptations based on this work must be licensed under the same license or a compatible license. Two of the CC licenses include this condition. And finally, the equal symbol means no derivatives or ND, which means reusers cannot share adaptations of the work. There are two CC licenses that include this restriction. Now, let's take a look at the six licenses. The first is the attribution license, or the CC BY. This allows people to use the work of another for any purpose, even commercially and even in a modified form, as long as they give attribution to the creator. The attribution license is the most open and non-restrictive license. The attribution share-alike license, or BY, allows people to use the work for any purpose, even commercially and even in a modified form, as long as they give attribution to the creator and make any adaptations they share with others available under the same or compatible license. Like I said, I am using this license today for this presentation, and I like the idea of being able to share, but having others use the same or compatible license. The Attribution Non-Commercial License, or BY NC, allows people to use the work for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as they give attribution to the creator. The Attribution No Derivatives License, or BY ND, allows people to use the unadapted work for any purpose, even commercially, as long as they give attribution to the creator. The Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike License, or BY NCSA, allows people to use the work for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as they give attribution to the creator and make any adaptations they share with others available under the same or compatible license. And then finally, the Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License, or BY NCND, is the most restrictive license offered by CC. It allows people to use the unadapted work for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as they give attribution to the creator. 
How do Creative Commons licenses and copyright law interact? First, Creative Commons licenses are built on copyright law. Essentially, a Creative Commons license is a copyright license. Creative Commons licenses are appropriate for creators who want to provide people with one or more of the permissions governed by copyright law. Certain other rights, such as patents, trademarks, privacy, and publicity rights are not covered by the licenses and must be managed separately. When to use a CC license? If you want to give others permission to freely copy and redistribute your work, and likewise if you want to give others permission to freely transform, alter, or otherwise create derivative works based on your work, you can use a CC license. A CC license also covers other rights closely related to copyright defined as similar rights in the CC license legal code. These include related and neighboring rights and sui generis database rights, which are rights in some countries restricting the extraction and reuse of the contents of a database. It is important to note that a CC license can be applied to almost all materials that are copyrightable, but Creative Commons does ask that reusers of content and of licenses do not license computer software. The reason being that there are open licenses available today that do a better job of licensing computer software. When not to use a CC license? When copyright is not applicable, CC licenses are not applicable. You don't need to use a Creative Commons license to give someone permission to read your article or watch your video because reading and watching aren't activities that copyright generally regulates. When fair use or fair dealing or some other limitation and exception exists to copyright, a CC license does not apply. And then finally, when a work is in the public domain, one cannot attach a Creative Commons license to that work. A little bit more on the public domain. Creative Commons licenses are copyright licenses, as we said before. They apply where and when copyright applies. The licenses apply only when the work is within the scope of copyright law or other related laws. Thus, one cannot apply a CC license to a work in the public domain. There are options, though, for putting a work into the public domain depending on the country or jurisdiction you reside in. This option, or the no rights reserved approach, allows one to disclaim copyright entirely. This is not a license. This is simply a tool known as CC0 that allows one to designate their work as a no rights reserved work. But that, again, as mentioned, depends on where you live. Some countries do not honor the CC0 designation, and it's very important that you check to figure out if you are able to use this, if you so choose. That's all I have today. Again, I'm using a buy share alike license, as you can see with the image. My name is Drew Bagby. I'm a librarian at Front Range Community College, and thank you for spending your time listening to my presentation.